fourth trip out here, and uh, I will tell you it is very important to Illinois agriculture. Uh, to be able to get into a representative's office or a senator's office and have a one-on-one -on -one with them for 15, 20 minutes, uh, share your story, tell your, tell your problems. But there's a lot of things that need to be passed uh, with the Farm Bill, getting that thing moving. Uh, it it uh, actually expires in September. And come September, it's going to be harvest time. There's going to be a lot of farmers trying to uh, figure out what inputs they're going to have for next year. They're going to start purchasing um, with basically uh, no security. So it's, it's real important to get this thing moving, peace of mind. Uh, and get everybody to where they can plan for next year. We discussed a number of issues related to SAF and the 45Z tax credits and we reiterated how we want to get it done right the first time and give farmers the flexibility and make sure that they get paid for these practices if the ethanol companies are getting the tax credits. This is the first year that we will rely heavily on our farm for crop insurance um, for a revenue loss. So having that crop insurance in the farm bill as a safety net and having pro farm programs such as the ARC County and the PLC is extremely important to be able to rely on when we have a loss in revenue. We have to be here. It's very important that every year we show up and that our legislators know who we are, they know what we're doing, and they understand what's going on back at home on the farm. They have to be aware. Just to see the process, you, you don't appreciate the size and scope of the federal government until you walk around and look around out here. So, But, you know, there's still people in every office, and even though it's a huge institution, it's still just people you know, running it. I'd encourage anybody who hasn't been to Washington on a Farm Bureau trip, uh, get in line, uh, make yourself available to go. Again, a great opportunity. And I'd say also in this environment, um, election year, a lot of a lot of issues moving. We're always keeping our eye on farm income. Uh, we're pressing home to the legislators that this is a time where farmers uh, are particularly concerned about farm income and, and whether it's in a farm bill or whether it's trade or whether it's fu future uses for biofuels. Um, this is the kind of the economic backdrop in which we're, we're, we're pressing the case. We got a great membership. You know, 23 farmers came out, uh, took parts of four days away from their farm to come out here and talk about the issues that impact them. But it's the Illinois Farm Bureau that gets us in the, this building with U.S. Senator Dick Durbin and U.S. Senator Tammy Duckworth and all the congressional offices over there and they actually sit down and talk to our farmers. Those are my takeaways and, and the most important thing on those takeaways is the farmer's voice was heard today in Washington DC and I think that it will make an impact that next time there's a committee hearing, uh, a conference report, or a vote on the Senate chamber or the House chamber that our farmer's voice will be in the back of their head when they take that vote.